channel today I've got a bit of a haul video for you all and this is a drugstore makeup haul um, I kind of went crazy in super drugs and boots so I got uh, quite a lot of bits to share with you so let me not talk too much and let's get straight into the tutorial so here is my bag of goodies I put it in one bag and I'm just gonna go through them one by one I think I should just tip it over and the first palette that I bought was the Revolution um, Ultra Matte Eyeshadow Palette and it's this beautiful palette here, let me just open it. I forgot what the price of this is guys so I will try and put the links below in the description box. And look at those beautiful colours, I mean they're so nice and neutral for like every day and I needed a palette that I can wear every single day, um, not every single day but like you know what I mean like if you want a nice neutral eyeshadow sometimes through the crease I always struggle to find one so um, yeah I bought this and I believe it was like eight pounds or something it's such a bargain but um, it seems really pigmented as well but I will do like a look on this palette so um, definitely stay tuned for that the second thing I bought was the sleek ultra matte brights palette I don't really do like bright eyeshadows or anything and I really should and this bad boy is just so pigmented oh my god look at these beautiful colors I mean and they're gorgeous I mean look I love the blues and the brush just came and fell out um but yeah the blues and everything and I think I just need to go out of my comfort zone and kind of use um more brighter colors than just sticking to one and stop being so boring all the time so yeah i bought that and the sleek palettes are like 7.99 are they 7.99 oh my god i'm so useless at this and then i bought uh, another sleek palette to, uh, palette which is the all natural palette guys i just i don't know i have an obsession with all natural neutral sort of colors and i haven't opened it up yet so let me just take it off and oh why did someone do you okay after so much difficulty I managed to take it off okay so these are the colours here and it's just so nice I love these everyday colours I'm just so obsessed with that like, neutral eyeshadows I picked that up as well um I should do a look on all of these eyeshadow palettes and I also picked up the L'Oreal beige sort of palette and they kind of look the same like the Revolution matte on matte palette and the brush just came out again um, yeah, but all of these colours I mean like I said before I will definitely wear them like on a normal casual day out so I grabbed that and I just love how it looks I mean just the packaging and everything is just really nice I love it and then the next thing I bought was the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. And this has got like eight shades of blushes. Um, I believe they're all blushes. And I love the packaging of this as well. It looks really nice and classy. And oh my god, I swatched these and they were ridiculously pigmented they were so 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 good and i absolutely my favorite shade out of all of this one is this um pinkish sort of rose gold color and it is so beautiful you can also use some of these as a highlighter which i absolutely love i'm so glad i picked this up because i always struggle to find blusher and highlighters and i love 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 highlighters another thing i picked up was the gosh a nine shade um palette I don't really use gosh I never pick it up when I go to super drugs and stuff I don't know why I just don't um, it's really nice packaging is like matte and it's just I got it because it's got all these beautiful purpley sort of colors and I thought yeah I'll just go out of my comfort zone and I'll try some of these colors out um, but I really can't wait to try this palette because the colors are so pigmented and the last palette I received was the M the makeup Academy um, palette it was their fifth birthday um, limited edition palette if you spend like eight pounds on makeup academy products you get this palette for free which i did so i thought okay why not i mean who doesn't love offers and then yeah so i picked this palette up and the colors are absolutely beautiful like you got a mixture of blues and beiges and browns and a bit of purple and pink in there too so um yeah i definitely can't wait to try this palette out 
so happy I got it for free. <laughs> the next thing I bought, guys, was concealers. Now, okay. I don't wear concealer only when I'm like kind of going out to a very big occasion otherwise I don't wear concealer on a normal day at all. I picked up, well, the Maybelline Age Eraser. I picked up from Koshal, well not picked up from Koshal, well, I got it from Super Drugs but if you guys don't know who Koshal Beauty is you have to follow her. Like. Everything that she puts up on her um, YouTube, I always had to go and grab it because it just looks so good when she uses it. So I um, picked that up and I it's in the shade Light. I think she uses the shade Light. Yeah, but I really want to try this out because I never have and it looks really good. So I can't wait to try this. And the other two concealers I bought was from the Makeup Academy Cover and Conceal. This was like a pound. And the other one was Wake Me Up um, by Rimmel London. I, th I believe she also used this one on one of her videos as well so um, I'm gonna give this a go and see how it all works the next two things that I bought were the were some highlighters you know because I'm crazy about highlighters so I'm, I'm super super obsessed with highlighters I bought the Makeup Academy Undress Your um, Skin Highlighter I did use one of them in my recent videos it was the Iridescent Gold Highlighter and it was Oh my god, I just loved it. This one is the Shimmer Highlighter and it's more of a pinky um, highlighter rather than a goldy one. That's why I wanted it. So really pigmented this stuff is. And the other one I got was from Makeup Revolution. And this is like almost like my iridescent gold one. But I think it's got a bit more whitey sort of tone in it. And it's just so, so damn pigmented. I'm not sure if you can see it but it's just it's really pigmented I love it so I'm really glad I picked both of these up I also picked up a bronze perfection bronzer from, from makeup Academy look how big it is I swear it's like almost as big as my face um but yeah I don't I don't bronze my face at all but I would use this as a blusher or maybe like a contour because it is quite dark um like a really subtle contour um but yeah because it's so big it's just so worth the money so I thought yeah why not I'm gonna drop that in the bag. I also picked up the Rimmel Transparent Clear Complexion um, Powder. I needed a drugstore sort of powder, which I don't own. So I thought I'd grab this and it's, do you know what, I used it today and I think it's absolutely amazing for a drugstore brand. It's really, really good. I mean, I don't have any shiny areas. So um, yeah, I picked that up. From Sleek again. Oh my God, I am totally obsessed with like Sleek blushes. They are so damn amazing. And um, these cute ones that I keep buying, I bought three like before, like Sahara in Flamingo and Pomegranate. And I absolutely love them because they're so pigmented. And I picked up this beautiful color and it's called Suede. So nice, it's really really nice. Look at that. How beautiful is that colour? It's gorgeous. I love it, I love it. It's like such an everyday colour that I would wear. And I just love the packaging because it's so cute and you can just fit it into your makeup bag. The next two things I bought was the MUA, what colour is this? Red Drama Lip Liner. And I picked up the Rimmel Scandalize Nude Eyeliner, which on Kosha Beauty's channel and I just had to try it so um yeah I'm gonna really give this a go it looks really pigmented anyways so I can't wait to give that a shot the two things I bought were mascaras um drugstore mascaras you can't go wrong with drugstore mascaras because every single one of them are just really really good super cheap and they do the job I picked up the L'Oreal telescopic because everyone just goes on about this um, mascara and I thought you know what I don't even own a telescopic mascara I need to try this what is all the hype about so I'm gonna give this a shot and see if this actually works on my no lashes and I also picked up a barium Vegas black mascara as well um, I don't know why but I just thought I just dropped another mascara in there I don't know why from Bourjois I picked up these beautiful um, Velvet Rouge Edition Matte Finish Liquid Lipsticks. Now I got one in the colour Frambourgeois. I think that's how you um, pronounce it. Frambourgeois. And the other one is... How do you pronounce that? 
Personnel Rouge. Personnel Rouge? Yeah, so basically one is really red, like a red hot red. And this one is like a like a mauve sort of hot pink in between shade. And oh my god, like I can't wait to try these because they look so damn nice and liquid lipsticks at drying matte hell yeah that is for me can't wait to try these and then i also which i'm not so happy about is this mua power pow balm okay i didn't know it was a balm right and i just picked it up and it's so like creamy and sheen and i don't like that i don't like anything glossy on my um lips because i've got really huge lips and I don't like enhancing them or making them look any more bigger than they already are so I wasn't too happy with this product so yeah I'm not gonna wear you <laughs> these are my um, my cream puff collection 2000 velvet lip creams oh my god they are so matte and they are so so nice I got one in a corally color called what is this called fairy cake free and the other one is called cotton candy and Oh my god, I love them. So I actually love them because they're so matte. I'm actually wearing the pink cotton candy on top of all fired up lipstick. And I just love it because it gives such a matte finish. It's super matte, but it's not so drying as well. So I love these. Okay, so and then I went and picked up my this L'Oreal lipstick. I love the packaging of the L'Oreal um, lipsticks. But I wasn't too happy with this because it had some sort of a glitter in there and I don't like glittery lipsticks at all. It's just, uh, it's really creamy and very glittery and, but the colour is quite nice actually. Can you see that colour? It's, yeah, it's really, really nice. I'm probably going to put translucent powder on top of this because I really don't like glossy sort of lipsticks at all. So, yeah, um, but yeah, this is in the shade 362 um it's called cappuccino mm. picked up two l'oreal infallible foundations because i'm finishing my one pretty quick because i use like everyday foundation and i picked up a rose beige and i also picked up sand the color i used in one of my previous videos maybe the sand one was a bit too dark for my skin because during the day it looked like I was tan, so that's why I picked up the rose beige to kind of mix them two together and see if that works. The next thing I picked up was the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender. Everyone keeps going on about this and I just had to grab it. Um, I don't really use a beauty blender now, I use a brush to kind of buff my foundation in, but I'm definitely going to give this a go or maybe use it for my concealer. And I love that it's got this slanted edge. So it's easier to put concealer on and I looked at a few tutorials on um, YouTube so um, yeah I'm really gonna give this a go. I also picked up a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and this brush oh my god it looks like it's gonna be such a good foundation brush. I love brushes that are so dense and have a lot of uh, bristles. Let me get this out. So it looks like that. You see it? Yay. Um, but yeah, the bristles are so super super soft. I can't wait to try this and put my foundation on. I'm definitely going to use this in the tutorial. Also picked up a mini manicure set, and with this you get like tweezers, um, a filer, some scissors, and what is that? A nail cutter, which is so cute, and another filer. Don't know what to give that. But yeah, this is just for like um, good to have in your handbag. So I needed something like this, so I'm just going to pop that in my handbag, which is quite convenient. And obviously I picked up the Bourjois um, bronzing powder. The blusher, you guys probably saw it in one of my tutorials, but I'm so bloody obsessed with this bronzer. I use it as a blusher all the time. Like it's my go-to blusher, not even bronzer. That's everything I think. Yeah, I went for everything. Oh my god, yeah. So I've come to the end of my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, drugstore haul. I don't know how I should have done it, but um I really kind of like enjoyed sitting here talking to you about the products i'm sorry i didn't get to swatch them all because that would have been a very lengthy video so um i will do like tutorials on loads of these products anyway so you can just go ahead and see um what you think of them yourself thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next uh video